Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to a Have a Gander on Shovel Knight. So this is a game that was kickstarted last year, it reached like four times its goal, uh, it's got really awesome retro graphics, the soundtrack is fantastic, and I've actually probably spent the, probably the entirety of this afternoon whilst cleaning my office, uh, watching a couple of different Twitch streamers play it, specifically Man vs Game. I've been watching him making his way through this, and it looks quite tough, but I'm very excited to give it a try. I created a character a second ago, but never actually entered into this opening cutscene. Ah, oh, sucks so good. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Fantastic. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Getting drunk by the campfire, yo. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. Oh no! Shield Knight! Oh no! When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Oh dear. <laughs> you know who's inside the armor, right? Uh, his spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude, where he would go on to Diggy Diggy Hole. <laughs> but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her order of no quarter. Oh dear, that Enchantress is looking hot. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Oh damn. Now one thing I don't know about this game, and I couldn't tell from watching the uh, the gameplay footage on the stream earlier on, is whether this game actually is roguelike, or you know, if the dungeons are randomly generated, or if all the levels are set. I'm not too sure. Uh, so I can, can I diggy that? Hey, there you go. Shoveling shit. There we go. Good stuff. All right, let's attack you. So I've got my normal shovel attack on square. I'm actually using the PS4 controller on the PC because that's a thing. Um, I'm actually using, yeah, so it's square to that one, circle to do that attack. So I'm assuming I'll have two different ones in the future. And then I have X to jump and triangle doesn't currently do anything. The shoulder buttons don't really do a great deal either. And of course, it's left and right to, uh, to jump about and attack stuff. So there we go. So I've somehow already lost like half a heart just from being a total scrub. There you go. Thank you, Neil. Look at all those rubies. Damn. And I can see a boss uh, health bar in the top right corner of the screen. Not currently filled in, but that's good for me. I would sooner not come across those just yet. Uh, now, I do wonder if these gems actually have um, any... There you go. If they have any kind of spawn out time. Yes, they do. Okay. Oh, missed it. Never mind. That's that one. And I'd like to get those two. Wonderbar. All right, we're free. Good times. So yeah, I've seen this game look incredibly difficult. Uh, now how do I do this? Oh, there you go. So I have to actually go up and then drop down. Can I do it to spear you? I can. Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. So yeah, this game looks really, really complex. Like, I've seen Man vs. King get really far into this, and the amount of mechanics that are inside the game uh, are just crazy. And even when you're really far along, really buffed up, more mechanics just kept getting added. It was nuts. Oh, was that a checkpoint? Oh, I think that was a checkpoint, actually. Oh, fantastic. Alright, uh, I'll forget, and if I do this, so yeah, if I press downwards whilst I jump, that gives me the uh, the little bounce that I do, but it only seems to work either off of mobs, uh, off of particular types of terrain, uh, and by the bubbles that come up as well, because there were a few bubbles a moment ago, weren't there? Uh, let me get you, uh, whoa, and there are like lots of different items you can collect to sort of help you in your quest here, um, I've seen like a golden fist, which allows you to sort of like float through the air, oh! Oh my god. Oh! Oh damn. Okay. So those hurt, but I can... Can I pop them? Ah, I see. So what am I doing here? Am I riding the bubbles over him? I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Can I, can I attack him? Oh, I can. Alright, okay. Yeah, let's keep doing that then. Oh dear. Now what if I were to... Oh, I want to see if I can jump on him. Uh, no, not close enough. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm a total nub at this. Oh god, I keep getting hit by the steam from his gob. Uh, Alright, back it up a little bit. I guess I can just do this slowly but surely like that, but I'm wondering if... Oh, dear. Can I get him? Yeah! Look at that! That'll clear your na nasal streams up. <laughs> very, very quickly. Oh, I dropped straight in. Alright, there's a skelly bob over there. Uh, go on then, you bugger. Oh, it only took like one hit. Fair play. Uh, now can I launch down that one? Yeah, look at that. And over we go. Cool. Yeah, I imagine this is going to be far easier to play when you actually use um, when you actually use a joystick as opposed to a D-pad. Although some people have their preferences. Uh, so like I forgot to mention actually, this game is obviously out on Steam as you might expect. 
Um, and then other than that, an interesting choice of platforms is coming out on the 3DS um, and the Wii U. No mention uh, on the website, from what I could see, of a PS4, Xbox One, or Xbox 360 and PS3 version, so that's kind of cool. I definitely see myself playing this on my uh, on my 3DS. This would be good for, for long train rides. Uh, ooh, so it looks like I can dig and hurt them at the same time. It's pretty cool. Uh, do I want to go this way? I think there's a secret over here. Ooh, oh yeah, there is some stuff over here. Oh, there's like a, a song? I've got a music sheet of sorts. Don't know what that's all about. Let's see what it is. Uh, I didn't see anything happen. I heard a little twinkly, like I heard a little jingle. But I didn't see anything else happen. I saw no text. How odd. They must come into use at some point. I guess we'll find out later on. Uh, so I do want to dig you first. Oh wait, what? What are you? Oh, okay. It's just a really strange kind of dirt ball. There you go. Ah, oh, nice. So you can chain them. I was wondering if it was like a one-time thing. Uh, there you go. I'm just trying to get the right height before I do this. Uh, let me dragon pounce that guy. Ah, uh, that's what I was supposed to do then. I see now. So I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to actually jump on the dragon and then get that ruby. And I've now done goof my chances. Oh no. Ooh. Ah, oh, who loves a bit of turkey? Is that turkey? I don't know. There we are. Down we go. Oh, I'm just going to be careful. Yeah. Awesome stuff. I'm going to just get them all. Oh, damn. He jumps a lot further than I thought he did. Okay, and can I dig upwards? No, I can't. That's interesting. Uh, up we pop. There you are. Good stuff. Uh, do I go that way? Yeah, that'll do. Just push through the other side and there is a little, little bit of silver. Okay, who we got? Uh, Alright, I see. So I've got to use the bubble to go over. In case we hadn't already sussed out that mechanic from earlier on. Nice little way of introducing that. Just a simple gap with it on. Uh, now... Oh, oh, I see. I can't actually jump up onto platforms. It's interesting. You never know with platforms if it's one of those ones where you're going to be able to jump straight up and through it. Or if you're going to have to actually legitimately go around the side of it. So that's that. Do I want to go for that ladder on the left? Yeah, why not? That looks like it's going to be something cool and hidden out of the way. I don't know if this dragon actually has any, like, ranged abilities. You know, kind of like a fireball or something. Ah, yeah, look at this. What have we got? So before I get rid of that little tunnel thing, I'm just going to go up this ladder again. Uh, it looks like they're alternate routes, but it does seem that if I go this way... Oh, God, skeleton! <laughs> it looks like there's some kind of chest up there. I don't know how I would get to that, though. All right, let me hop up. Let's see if we can suss this one out. So, that, yeah, there's a ladder coming from underneath it. Which is interesting. So maybe if I go this way into the left, maybe? I'm going to hold down dead. <laughs> I thought that was going to take me down to like the next floor. Turns out it's just a legit gap. Balls. That's annoying. Okay, never mind. Uh, I can actually retrieve those. Is that actually my... Oh, it's my gold. I see. I was wondering what it was. Oh dear, that was close. They are good. So yeah, you can retrieve your gold. I don't know if you can retrieve all of it or just a percentage of it. But obviously sometimes it's going to land in places where you're just not going to be able to get it at all. Um, so you win some, you lose some. Uh, another dragon. Okay. Uh, oh, damn. He attacked fast. Now can I just, yeah, can I just sit up here? There you go. Oh, I need to be careful because as soon as his head disappears, I'm going to be done for. There you go. Pogo the dragon! No, I fell! Oh, come on! I thought I could bounce along his body until it disappeared. Turns out that mid-animation, he then becomes a no-clip. Oh, God damn it. Okay, hold on. Up we go. Good stuff. This isn't as difficult as another one that I played uh, previously. There was another game that had a very similar vibe to this that was incredibly difficult. Like, you pretty much had to do it perfectly to avoid, like, you know, projectiles and attack certain mobs. I can't remember what it was called now. All right, let's get straight out. up. Oh, there we go. All right, so just always make sure that I'm going to be coming back over here. Yep, good. That'll do. And we got ourselves a little apple. That'll do. Right, what have we got? Skelly Bob, uh, are you going to jump? No. <laughs> You're just going to fall. That's nice. I will take those any day. All right, up we are. I guess I did lose the loot from him, but at this point, I don't really know how valuable certain kinds of loot are. All right, stop. Whoa, stop, stop. No, stop. There you go. All right, so I can stop the downward animation with a thing, it would seem. Oh, those slimes are well hidden. Where is he? There he is. Come here, bugger. There you are. Good. Okay. So, yeah, so it seems like when I'm actually using that um, that downward pogo stick thing, if I attack midair, that cancels it out, and I go back to landing in a normal stance. So, that's good for future reference. 
Uh, let's go left. Why not? There's a reason that dragon's there. Uh, oh, hello. There's all sorts going off over here. Oh, there you go. Oh, a chest. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at all those. Look at all those gems. I don't know what the name of that gem is. What's the name of a pink gem? I want to say Topaz, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's going to be one that I don't know the name of. And you as well. Thank you. Oh, man. This isn't as difficult as I thought it would be so far. I guess I must have just been watching live streams where people are, like, quite late into the game. I reckon they've probably been playing this for months on end. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean... What? The Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've got no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time has... Uh, what? Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters. Because after the Enchantress has gone... Has got... What? Oh, has to go through me. <laughs> Steal thy shovel. Oh, God. All right. I'll see you all the boss. All right, let's see if we can shovel this guy down. Looks like we might be able to, actually. <laughs> That's pretty handy. That's it. Let's just shovel this. Pogo for the win. There you go. Nice. <laughs> this is so OP. I love the Pogo in this. Ooh, oh, dear. You're getting a little bit cheeky with those attacks. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Oh, how close am I to low? Okay, so I need to get, like, one attack on him. Yeah. K.O. Nice. <laughs> Shovel Knight wins. Da -da -da. Yeah, I like that pogo. It's pretty awesome. It's like uh, in some games you have a spin to win. You get pogo to win in this game. All day. All day. Please tell me there's going to be a little goblin that turns up and I can kick its ass. I remember in Golden Axe, you could, like, kick the little, like, imp up its butt. And it drops loads of potions. Oh. Oh, hello. Some kind of... Oh, wait. No, that's um, that's shield. <gasps> that was shield knight. Catch her? What are you talking about? Uh, Come here. Oh, that was majestic. Beautiful sight. Happy tonight. Shovel in and... Uh... Oh, there you go. I'm up. I'm awake. I'm good stuff. Put out the fire before we leave. Only you can prevent forest fires. There you go. Oh, yeah, we can dig up the fire. Ah, oh, look at that. That's good manners. Oh, wait. Literally, hold on, wait, hold on a second. What's that achievement called? It's called Only You. Uh, use caution and common sense around campfire. That's brilliant. So, literally, the thing I just quoted, it gave me an achievement for. That's brilliant. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, damn. Check this out. This is very Mario, isn't it? Nice. I wonder if this game's going to be littered in references or if it's just going to be that. So that song sheet that we picked up from before, that's now actually at the bottom of our screen. I wonder what use that has. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Oh, <laughs> that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Uh, okay, is it up to enter buildings as well? Or No? What is she? She had like a jabbit lady. I'm sorry, but you're a bit too short for me. I wasn't trying to chat you up. Oh, there was a cheeky link. Look at that guy. Turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out. I'm telling everyone. All right. Uh, make sure to press up to talk to people. Oh, no, wait. Have I left the town? Oh, bugger. I left earlier than I was supposed to. Oh, hello. You strike a very bearing resemblance to, uh, to Shield Knight. Some knights may look down on your choice of weapon, but between us, I dig it. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. I hope there are many a shovel pun. Oh, are you a bard? Oh, hail traveller. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. Ah, oh, okay. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Oh, you have a music sheet. Please accept 500 gold as a reward. Uh, okay, fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you found the strike the earth. What's that? Uh, 
Ostinato. What is that? Is that a thing? Ostinato trumpet triplets. That's an episode title if I ever did hear one. Is there any chance you could render it pure magic again? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Oh, let's yeah, play me a jam. Here we go. I would like to hear a song. I would like to hear the... Oh, you've actually got a few on you. We've got the main theme. We've got Steal Thy Shuttle. <laughs> We got one fateful, ki uh, one fateful night, a decisive blow, and no weapons here. Okay, I want to hear. Uh, I want to. Oh, wait, there's a few more. Which ones have we just picked up? Ah, there we go. I want to hear this one. Oh yeah. Was that the music that we had in the boss battle with the uh, the Dark Knight a moment ago? Can't remember. I like it though. Oh, look at this guy. It's Jon Snow. Pick up blue jars to restore your magic power. I'm off to guard the wall. All right, bye, John. See you later, mate. Oh, hello. Who are you? Looks, she looks very plump and happy. Oh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Oh, we have pulled. She is dicking us. Oh, look. <laughs> What's the goat guy all about? The gastronoma. Pottage and poultry. Mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring a meal ticket, I'll whip up a feast. Goatitian might have some. Now where's that sly beast? Uh, I get the feeling he's the one that's beneath us. If he's not Goatitian, then I'd be very surprised. Ah! Ah, decisions! Decisions! Should I extend my magic or health? Oh, just eat a tin can! Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Oh, it's a thousand. Oh, we have enough. Okay, let's buy it. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm not really much of a magic user currently, or at least I don't have any spells. So why don't we up our health until we get some kind of magical shovel, a magical wand. There you go. I'll dazzle your palette in no time or less. So bon appetit and pardon the mess. Oh, look at this guy. It's brewing up a health pot. So I think this is a permanent increase to our life as well. So if I do this... Oh, yeah, I'm up to five circles on there. Uh, let's have a little speak to her. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but you have no relics. What? I can't. You have to find some relics. Chester down the ladder. Chester? Who the bloody hell is Chester? Let's have a look. Uh, which one of you lot is Chester? I'm going to assume it's you. No, dis disposed. Oh, a deposed king. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, nor to rule but my lone bar stool. Oh, he's he's a drunk. Oh dear, pride more thrown. That gilded goon. Oh God, that's no turn to be thrown around. Grandma swamp. Mabble, travel, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. Exvatio! The number of dig piles you've dug is six. Or I'm infinite, infinioso. <laughs> the amount of gold you've collected is four, five, two. Thanato refutatum. That's a really cool sounding spell, actually. That's my favourite one. Uh, the number of times you've fallen in battle is two. I don't want to know about that. Anyway, I've got all my deets. Where is uh, where is Chester? Are you Chester? Oh, a dancer. Oh, hello. That spectre knight. If someone could defeat him, I bestow upon the greatest treasure. Oh. I'm going to defeat him and then get your hand in marriage. Uh, oh. <laughs> what, what is going on in here? Who are you? You're like, a, you're like a genie. Oh, it's Chester. Oh, fantastic. Psst. Hey, blue guy. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Uh, okay. So I needed a... So that's an orb. No, I needed a relic off of you. Unless these are relics. Maybe I'm wrong on this. Let's have a look. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. An orb of boundless combat potential. Should I get the rod? Hmm. Yeah, why not? I want to try out the little fishing thing. Yeah, I reckon that'd be fun. Uh, hold up and press X. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Keep an eye out for sparkly fishing spots. Oh, fantastic. So maybe I can fish for relics or something. Right, let's get ourselves to another level then. So many people in this town, it's insane. Um, so I don't have a relic for you, magic lady. <laughs> Look at her. Is that a hedgehog? Oh my god. Oh, a hedge farmer. I'm oh, so sorry. So sorry. Oh, there's a big, uh, some big jug she's carrying. Uh, are you really the shovel knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Okay. 
Hey up. Oh, he looks very happy. Are you really arshable oh, knight? Was that it? That's all that's all he wanted to say. Oh god, there are so many people here. Oh, there's a there's a song up there. How the hell do we get up there though? So I can't climb up onto there. Can I bounce off these people's heads? Oh I can, I see. Uh I'm ever so sorry. I'm making your job five times as difficult. Is she gonna come back this way? Ah she is. I'll wait for her to get closer. And I'm gonna add all my weight on her. There you go. Tar lass. Tar. Oh, there's a chest. There you go. I love how I just bust the uh, the padlock off of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, let's go back to the bard then before we leave this town. I'm assuming maybe the exit to the town is always going to be to the left. And it just kind of goes to the right as far as it does. Uh, the bard was... No, he wasn't here. He's in the next part, wasn't he? He was next to the, uh, next to the fountain. Ah, uh, here he is. Here we go. Time for some more rhymes. Oh, you have a music sheet. Please accept 500 gold as a reward. Let's see here. Oh, you found Pastoral. Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Right, I'm going to go past the Jabbit lady. Uh, oh, wait, wait, whoa. What did you say? There's some highlighted text there. That seemed important. I remember before the Order of No Quarter when we weren't afraid to walk around like this. Oh, fair play. Right, let us go and do another level, I think. This is another level next, right? Oh, Pride More Keep, Layer of King Knight. Oh dear. So this is like our first boss one. I wonder if it's always one normal level, one boss one, or if there are going to be bigger gaps in between as we progress. Okay, so if I press up and X. Up and X. No? That, no? Oh, hold on a minute. Where are my options? Uh, controls. Oh wait, relic input type. Up and attack. Oh, I can change it. Uh, button. Oh wait, but then I need to change the button, don't I? Uh, controller. Oh, relic is R1. That's better. Alright, anchors away! I don't know if I actually have to press anything. Uh, oh no, there you go. Got myself a fish. What a catch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. How weird. So I need to look for sparkly fishing spots. That's what it told me to keep an eye out for. So that I can do. All right. One, two, three. There you are. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh, he just crashes and then goes. That is actually less work for me. So I'll bear that in mind in the future. Uh, when is that? Oh, dear. There you are. Fantastic. Okay. I thought he was going to get done in by the lava, but apparently not. All right. Are you going to come over this way? If I catch him here, though. Yeah, that's better. Alright, through we go. I'm going to wait for the next one to disappear as well. And it seemed like that guy respawned the moment that I went out of uh, viewing range. So, I need to make sure that if I do fight a difficult mob, that I'm to not go out of shot. Because otherwise I'm going to have to fight the thing twice. There you go. Oh, a sparkly fishing spot. Let's see what we get. Anchors away. And we get... Oh. Where is it? Oh, bugger all. Do I have to press a button? Maybe I have to press R1 again. And... Yeah, it's R1 again. Oh, that was a huge fish. Good God. All right, there you go. That one will feed me for a week. Okay, what do we got? Oh, wait, what? What with the, what with the flying rats? They're in a very awkward height position there. There we are. That's better. Let's get rid of all these. Just I've got... Some more space to work with. Oh, look at that. Caught it on the descent. Okay. Uh, just get rid of those two. I missed that little magic pot. Am I going to get splashed on here? No, I'm okay. All right, okay. I was worried that like they're both going to splash either side, so you can't actually stand in the center. Uh, I need to wait for him to descend a little bit. That's better. Thank you very much. Come to Papa. God, yeah, this shovel doesn't reach very high, does it? It literally like reaches in front of me, and that's it. Uh, that's low enough. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. It's a shame that there's no sprint on this. Alright, and then jump over the fireball. Yeah, this guy seems easy to deal with. Although I guess the real question is, how many attacks does he take? Three is the answer to that question. It's a shame that we don't have a double jump. Maybe that's something we unlock later on, but I'm so, so used to having double jumps in games like this. Now, you're going to come to life, aren't you? Uh, I want to try and attack him mid -air. Oh, I knocked his head off. What about the rest? Oh, I'm so worried about this. What happens if it makes its way back to him? Nothing? Oh, okay. I think that was there just to intimidate me. Alright, let's keep on going. Uh, oh. Ah, yeah, now you're alive. Okay. 
There you go. Oh, I still have to wait for his shield to come down. Ooh, he's got some range. Damn, yeah, he can reach way further than I can. There you go. Oh, balls to this. Oh, he defends from the top. Nice, but if I go up here, and then as soon as I drop, I can nail him one. Nice, I'm liking that. So rather than waiting for an opening, I can just create one. Come here, you bugger. Come here. There you are. Oh, dear. Or I can just walk into him like that. <laughs> like a buffoon. All right, so I'm on half health. This isn't so good at the moment. Oh, I don't quite know how I took him down there. I think that was a mixture of the Pogo and a normal attack, and I just missed out on a ruby up there. What an idiot. All right, what have we got? Oh, that chandelier is swinging a little bit too loosely. Yep, there it goes. I could have sworn I was outside the collision box for that one, but never mind. Oh, there you are. Let's keep on going. All right, now this is the one that I want to be wary of. There you go. We'll back it up a little bit. I should really turn off my uh, my Steam, shouldn't I? I keep uh, I keep staying logged in whenever I play games, <laughs> and then I just get tweets from like the people that pop up in that little friends thing, from uh, from you all adding them. That's never a good thing. I should have jumped on top of that again. Missing out on another ruby, costing myself some serious dollar here. I reckon. Um, right. So I mean, that silhouette looks oddly like me. So I probably want to go now. Like, oh, you bugger. Oh, dear. So is that... Oh, is that the number of lives I have? What? I didn't realize I had a certain number of, like, continues. All right, across we go. And wait for that chandelier to come down. So I need to remember to have the last chandelier for me to jump on it. There you go. Nailed it. All right. That might have made up for our little uh, faux pas a moment ago. What do we got? Okay, so... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, and... Go on! Go on! No! Oh, come on! <laughs> I was holding left, so the moment that platform came up, it moved away straight away. Ah, okay. It's alright, I got this. Again, this is what these kind of games are like. You learn little by little exactly how everything moves about. Uh, oh, just managed to get out of the other end of that. Doesn't matter about the ruby, because I already collected it. Luckily enough for me, that was the case. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Uh, okay, there we are. Okay, stand still, and then jump. Fantastic. Uh, there you go. So what What now? R1? No, nope, that's not hitting anything. Oh, alright, okay, hold on. L2 threw me behind. I just pressed that, like, by chance. Okay, so I've got to get across these in one shot. So that's up to there, up to there. Good. Open the chest up. Oh! Oh, it's uh, it's Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Uh, I guess so, yeah. A flare wand. Oh, so we can finally have magic. Sold. He sold me at the word flare. So I can press R1. Okay. Now, will that also do my... Oh, no, it won't. So how do I switch out my items? Uh, is it? Oh, is it up? No, I'll have to. Hold on, I'll have to consult the controls in a second. There must be a way for me to toggle between uh, the two weapons, because otherwise I'm going to be wasting mana when sometimes I might want to fish. Uh, so right, I'm going back that way. Oh God, it's much easier getting back, isn't it? <laughs> All right, up we climb, higher and higher, and we're going to go set some things on fire. Cool. We don't really need to waste that here, though. As long as we get those three hits on them. There you are. And I could probably pogo that guy that's over on the far left if I get close enough. There we go. Got an apple. And if we use this to go across. Oh, no, maybe not. That's fine. One more shot. And you're done for. Thank you. I'm going to save those mana bits. So it looks like I've got 30 mana in total. Because those seem to be the pots that I've got. Let me see. If I use a spell. Yeah, it goes down to 24. Uh, 26 even. So that's all good. Uh, now, you might cause me some problems. Nope, you're not alive. All right, good. Knock his head off. <laughs> I like that you can't tell until you get really close if it's going to aggro you. Uh, okay. Oh, dear. Fireball. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, okay, I see. Dragon Ball Z stuff going off in here. We're going head-to-head -to -head with these fireballs. Liking it. All right, let me grab you. And you there as well. Thank you. And let's have a little wander to the right. What have we got here? Uh, so if I drop straight down, and then drop... Oh, no. God. The jump's a little bit higher than I thought it was, actually. Got all the emeralds. That as well. Good. Now, I'm wondering if I should have jumped down that early. Oh, yeah. It just brings me down to here anyway. And there is a huge freaking griffin over there. 
probably don't want to go into combat with him. Uh, okay, then it's just those guys. Okay, I'm going to have to fight the Griffin. I've only got six mana, though, uh, which is a little bit of an issue, I imagine. There you are. Oh, okay. Oh, ow. So, let me just society his pattern again. So, when I'm in line with him, he does that. Oh, ow. Um, so, I can't attack anymore. Okay. Over we go. Oh, no. I tried to, like, jump onto him. That's not going to work. So he normally attacks twice, and then I probably got a window to attack him, yeah. And then the same again. Uno, dos, dead. No, not quite. <laughs> that was hopeful. Okay, and uh, uh, maybe another one. Oh, if I didn't jump to the right bloody time, I might have done. Ooh, risky, risky. So I can sneak in like an attack or two. There you are. And good, there you go. Bye-bye, birdie. Cool, so my health is back up to full, and I believe... Oh, no, maybe not. I was, ex I was assuming that we'd get a boss there. I thought he that guy was like a mini-boss. I think he's probably just like a basic mob, and I just think he's difficult. Because I'm a scrub. Uh, can I get that? I don't want to, like, walk myself off the edge. I'm just going to wait for this little... <laughs> for this little... This little mole to come over. Uh, oh, you're not in a friendly position. There you are, good. I don't know if I can actually... Uh, if I can pogo down onto them. Should we give it a try? Oh, yeah, I can. There you go. I guess that makes sense. Uh, now, I wonder if you can combo those to actually go really high up. Let's see. Uh, you there. Oh, nice. It only takes one to get up here. So what goodies are over here? Is there a warp room? Oh, no. Come on. I thought there was going to be like some kind of warp room. So it looks like there's more places to go over that way. And I can go downward from here. I I'm assuming always going to the right is going to be more progression, isn't it? So those two cancel each other out. That's good. Uh, oh, two, three good and then you don't really move off the spot you do sort of stagger back every time that you hit him though which is the only issue with those guys right cool got some more health oh it's a cheeky little gap in there i like that they're using the uh they're using those to drape and hide up certain things ah so there is a wall there can i get through here i can cool all right let's wait for him to drop that on two three open up the chest and chester isn't in this one i don't think there you go look at that so I think Chester is only inside the blue chest. I guess that would make sense. It matches his little colour scheme going on. He's got like a very like Aladdin genie colour scheme going on. Uh, oh, <laughs> almost walked into that one. And where am I going from here then? Oh, oh dear. And climb. There you are. I'm confused as to where I'm going now. Can I actually jump up onto that part there? Oh, I can. All right, cool. Ignore me then. So that was just a little detour to grab that chest over on the uh, the right hand side. Uh, is that going to be low enough? Yeah, look at that. Oh no, no, missed him. An apple, more mana. And down the hole. Ah, uh, chandelier there. So if I get the chandelier and go straight to the right. Oh uh, yeah, cool. I thought I might need a little jump there. It seemed like that was a good shout. Yes, deactivated the one that would only fall into the hole. Managed to pick up the loot from the other one. Double win. Uh, ooh. Now, last time I jumped down a hole, I just ended up dying. That wall there has a little thing in it. Yeah, there we go. Wait, is that it for here? Somehow, I don't... I don't believe it somehow. I'll try it. Oh, thank God. Okay. I've, I was pretty sure I was gone for then. Yes. Oh, no, stop. There you go. Ah, so now he's actually stuck over there. That's pretty... Ooh. Is he going to fall down here? I don't think he is, actually. He's just going to chill up there, isn't he? Oh, nice. Look at this. There you go. Down him in there in one attempt. Cool. Blow up that little dirt ball. Oh, quick, get the red one. Oh, I missed it. I missed it by like a like a, a millisecond. Oh, there are actually gems hidden, hidden behind there as well. Nice. All right, checkpoint. Oh, what is that? Whoa, what are these pages? Uh, okay. I sort of used that as, a, as an updraft. How weird. Is that always there again? It is there again. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, give me two seconds. I just want to see what is down this little secret path here. Uh, you're not real, are you? So I think I've sussed it out now. I think the ones that are alive actually have a little colour to them. I can't remember what colour it is. I think they're trimmed in like red or something like that. Uh, there you are. Oh, there was a music page there. I'm going to have to go back around for it. I'd sooner do that whilst I'm not worrying about the mobs. No, why did I do that? Why? <laughs> I just... I had the idea about five seconds prior and acting on it five seconds later like an absolute idiot. God, that was most the most delayed reaction to a thought I think I've ever had. 
Well, that's saying something for me. Oh, no, the sheet's gone. No, we lost it. We completely lost it. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Unless we got it on the way down. Maybe we did. We might have gotten it as we fell. But I don't remember if we even went through it. I just remember looking at the pit and thinking this is going to hurt. <laughs> All right, up we are. Cool, so you can carry the updraft from those magic books just by uh, pogoing on it. Yeah, there we are. Good. Now, are these a temporary amount of time, these? Yeah, it looks like they are. All right, cool. So you basically just got to chain them, haven't you? To keep the uh, keep the flow going. Ah, you bugger. So I have to get closer to the edge of that book. I think I like tried to jump when I was on like the spine of it. Not the best idea. All right. Uh, okay, you're ready to go. The ones in the next room don't start. Yeah, they start like that. Okay. Mm. Let me just keep jumping here until the lava goes like that. Uh, oh, no! Ouch! Okay, that's going to be enough to get me to here, though. That's fine. I can take that. And there we are. Let's keep on going. Good. All right, I got the gold one back. I'm just going to wait for the lava to pass. Good. I've jumped over the top of that one. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> Where was the jump there? I pressed it, but I must have already slid off the edge before I got a chance to actually to land the jump. All right, here we are. Try this again. So down we go. Boom. There you are. That seemed like a good timing for it. All right, and over we are. Okay. So I want to... Oh, bloody no! I shoveled downwards onto that platform thinking it was going to get the blade. The blade was like halfway through the platform itself. Oh, no. All right, let's try again. I still I still haven't quite sussed out the live situation. I feel like I should have uh, had a game over or something by now. <laughs> Died quite a few times. I'm not getting good timings on these. Now, yes, perfect, cool. So as I came up, that's when the lava went down. Okay, cool, there we are. All right, money bags, plenty of money bags. Good, and let's keep on doing that. Good, all right. Wait in the middle. Now we go to there, yes, all right, we got through. Magic book room, done. Uh, oh, right, I just want to be careful with these. I don't currently need, or at least I don't think I need anything out of those, uh, out of those little entrees. Shall I open it up just in case? Or is it better for me to not to? So in case I come back to this room, I can open it up and get some food out of it. Ah, yeah, maybe that's best. Yeah, why not? Let's just fireball the crap out of this guy. There you are. Just going down any second now. Now I've got my fingers crossed that there's going to be mana inside that thing uh, to the left of us. So we're going to take one more melee hit or two. Good, thank you. Mana nowhere near restored. We were on like 70, weren't we, or something? We're all the way down to 7. Alright, so that's food. Give me a big mana pot. That's what I need. I'm assuming it's only going to be food though, right? Ah, oh, it is. Alright. I'll leave that there. Let's see if that despawns or respawns. Uh, go back in. Yep, despawns. Balls. It's not like we missed out on an opportunity there, though. We already already had full health before we left. Uh, oh! Oh, hello. That's ominous, isn't it? Hey, guess what? We're giving you loads of mana. Because you're about to face the King Knight. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self. Fabulous. And I know all the bow before me. Bow, 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 bow. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> you're naught but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. All right. Let's see what, what this guy's bringing to the table. Oh, God, he moves fast. Can we shovel to win? Yep. Let's Pogo to win again. Oh, God. Those are some pretty, uh, pretty mammoth attacks. Good. Get him on his downfall. Oh, hello. That's not fun. And where's he going for next? Damn. Oh, the trumpets. Uh, what health is he on? Uh, he's on certainly more than I am. <laughs> oh, no. I'm on two and a half. He's on quite a lot more. Come on, shovel to win. All right, I'm going to have to be careful here. Good, good, good. Oh, no, no, no. I meant to shovel there. Is he coming for me? I've got no mana at the minute. Oh, no, no, no. no. Come on. One and a half. One. One more hit. Yes. Just scraped through that boss battle with half a heart left. Shovel victory. Ah, oh, like a boss. Digging it. D -d -d digging it. D -d digging it. Digging it. Oh, we're going to have another dream, aren't are we? Maybe. Maybe not. We need to try and save uh, Shield Knight. Was it Shield Knight? Or was it Helm Knight? 
it was one or the other, something like that. Here she comes down from the heavens. Oh no, no dream tonight. Okay, that either means I didn't do so well on the last uh, level, or um, it doesn't happen every night. There you go. Get rid of all the forest fires. And then we back out to the world map. Nice. Oh, and it opened up a way for us. Fantastic. Aye, hey. What the bloody hell's going on there? What's that all about? Tell you what, I'm going to make my way back to the town. Let's quickly sneak into there before we go and encounter whatever that is on the middle of the road. And uh, yeah, I tell you what, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm probably going to play more of this on the big Saturday live stream. So make sure you come and check it out. Um, and chances are this second episode will have gone out after that live stream. So I'll probably be further ahead, which is quite cool. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Bye.